In today's video, you are really going to see the progression of the ram's horn toenail disappearing and see how the other toenails are widening back to their intended position in the nail grooves. There is some great toenail cleaning and I give you one more reason why people have yellow toenails and poor circulation, so stay tuned. If you're new here, welcome! Please subscribe and click the bell to turn on your notifications to know when I upload my weekly video and be notified if your comment got the most likes and will be featured in an upcoming video. I mean, I, I, do, I do the flu shot, you know, but it took me years to get that. I didn't do it right away when they right. first came out, but I do it now, but... Uh oh, is it gonna start snowing? Yeah, we haven't. Maybe, maybe just a dusting twice, maybe, yeah. but nothing. Nothing serious. Yeah. Tell you what, it sure is cold today, though. Yeah, it is cold, very cold out there. I could deal with snow, I don't like the cold. <laughs> yeah, alright. I know that's cold too, yeah. probably. Yeah, I've got my toes moving on their own. I mean, <laughs> we're like, woo! Yeah, I just ran out and got a hamburger from McDonald's. I was like, oh my goodness, is it freezing? They've been feeling pretty good though. Yeah, they're just starting, just now they're just starting to, in the last few weeks I've noticed they're getting longer and starting to kind of feel like they're, yep, getting packed up again. Pinching you too. So yeah, I'm a six to eight weeker at least. Mm -hmm. If I wait any longer than, you know, we're. Yeah, when it's this cold, you almost wish that there was just some snow out there, so at least you could look at something pretty. Yeah, and you expect it to be a little cold, but yeah, it kind of... When we first start, uh, started out this morning, it was sunny. Was it? Yeah, and then on our way, it just gloomed, got really gloomy, and I didn't see any snow, but it, it yeah, the wind just picked up. And your gas is a lot cheaper. Is it? Yes. I guess there's like... 249 and we saw it here for 219 so 215 so I'm like wow that's a lot oh wow so yeah we stopped and filled up I was planning on driving back my husband wants to stay so we'll find a motel so. Aww. yeah we're gonna stay we have a date night I guess yeah he likes it up here There's some hotels around Briarwood Mall. Okay. I'll tell you how to get there. Okay. It's not far from here. Yeah, 
head, I don't think they're anywhere near as thick as they were. Oh, they no. Were. What's going on? I'm just going to keep up with it. Oh, it's not that one. I'm not saying they're knocking them, but they're just, they're the Vietnamese, and they, they, can't, they can't understand me, you can't understand them. You know, they're okay, I guess, but, but not to cut it through like this, comprehensive, you know, right. in depth now. Hopefully before too long, there'll be some other salons with nail technicians who've taken my courses. Yeah. You know, I've been a, a nail tech years ago. I went to college since then, but yeah, I, I mean, I had a heavily a cosmetology license in Indiana. Um, and I bought some of your products. I even got a, a spa for Christmas, you know, like a foot spa. Did for, you? Yeah. My daughter got it for me. So, I mean, I I just can't reach mine to get down there and do it. But I could maybe somebody else's. Right. You know? Hey, we need, we need someone like you there. Definitely. Yeah, Here's my hair. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I describe it as like a dentist. If you go get your teeth cleaned, you don't do it yourself. Right. Same as your toenails, you don't get the. <laughs> right. You don't do it yourself. I mean, you can, but that's like brushing your teeth and flossing every day. You still have to go get your teeth cleaned. Right. So that's how I told my husband. I said, "Well, it's, that's like a like a dentist. You either do it or you're going to be paying a lot of money, a lot of pain, and then driving three hours." Right. But yeah, that would be great if we could get someone. There used to be someone at the doctor, um, the foot doctor, the podiatrist, that did it. Well, my sister, years ago, because I remember she had issues. And similarly, they, they did a really good job. It was a medical, more of a medical than, you know, like a nail salon. But they, they left, and um, you know, they don't do there anymore. So, uh -huh. but, yeah, I don't know where she went. But that, yeah, doctors need to offer it, I believe. Yeah, it, it's a little tricky because it's two different industries and two different licensing agencies. Yeah, okay. So, the doctors aren't trained to do all of the things that we're trained to do, and vice versa. Because, yeah. quite frankly, doctors have better things to do and, and medical things there to really do. There really isn't any such thing as a medical pedicure and if somebody's doing it in a podiatrist office they still have to be licensed as a nail salon right yeah i, I suppose it's in the end same way or close yeah so it just gets a little tricky yeah it would be nice for people to have technicians well, my, my husband he is a one his Sugar is high, so he goes to the doctor and they send his nails. They use a dermal, but they don't. That's about it. Uh -huh. They do trim his nails and they they use a dermal. I have a dermal. I mean, I bought one. I bought all the products. I do have them. I used to do nails when they when it was more the forms you build them up. That's how I learned. Like acrylic nails. Yeah. Soak a little bit. Lower? Um, we're going to straighten all the way out in just a minute. Okay. Yeah, they're actually looking a lot better than they did when they first come. Alrighty, you can take that. because I saw it in your video <laughs> to wipe your you know to get the um, dry skin off so that the product will penetrate better yep so yeah I started doing that so yeah the videos do help even though I've seen a lot of them even 
when I watch them, I learn, you know, something yes. new. So I always try to yeah. mention something that I have in the past. I don't know if that helps, but I'm telling, I, I, you know, I don't know it, what a person sees, you know. Maybe it'll help later or others. watching football I'm watching you <laughs> <laughs> this is way more fun yeah. oh yeah <laughs> well, you have to like what you do or you, you know. I love what I do yeah I kind of like nails and picking and just just I, I don't know there, there are so many apps nowadays that are like like there's a nail app where you, it has nail issues. <laughs> you know, it's kind of cool. I'm like, does it? Yeah, and you can scrape the bottom of the foot, and it's cartoonish, but but it's still, I mean, there's people that like to sort things. There's people that like to, and there's an app where you can squeeze blackheads. You know, what I mean? right? It's just nuts that people like to do things. You know, like that, or at least. This passes the time away, I guess. Everybody needed a lot of entertainment this year, for sure. Yeah. My husband Ashley said, you're going to get polished this summer? I said, I'm not getting polished this summer. Mm-mm. I said, there's no reason. Anyway. I mean, yes, I, I want my toes, like... You know, I get my nails done, so yes, I want my nose, toes done too, but it's not good. At least the doctor always told me don't put polish on your toenails, but they need to believe. Well, the product can't penetrate through nail polish, yeah. and to penetrate into the nail plate, it really does need to be bare. Yeah. But the nails... I mean, they're porous, and being exposed to air can help them, you know, evaporate the moisture better and stuff. But they don't. If I remember right, there are like three really. growths that grow together, you know, a nail does. It's uh, made out of keratin. Mm-hmm. I did really good in class when I went to beauty school in 96. Not nearly as much work though, for you, right? Compared to last time? Yeah, I'm mean, oh, no. the first time I came, it was awful. Nope. But we're still splinting it, and that's from the, pro the product working? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, they certainly have changed shape. You know, they've right. flattened oh, yeah. out. Yeah. They're not as squeezy. They look more like a nail and not as thick and yeah, yeah. My, yeah. And so, I guess from your videos, if I remember right, it, the squeezing is from thickening the grow above. And, and dehydration. Yeah, when the thickening, when it starts to squeeze, it put, squeezes this skin underneath and it pushes the whole nail Why upward. Why do that? I mean, it's just the way it grows. Yeah, because there's nowhere else for that skin to go. Oh, okay. It's the skin pushing it up. Yep. Build up and get underneath the nail, too, so it can be a combination of... Well, like shampoo, I guess, or soap or yeah. in the shower, and you don't... Yeah. We're in a hurry, so we just hurry up and get out and get dressed and go about our day, but... In her last video, I talked about how much density to remove from the nails because when the new growth comes, it will show you the thickness. This big toenail, you can really see the difference. You can see that ledge right there that I just filed off and it's meeting the new growth. Now the back of that toenail, it should grow that thickness from now on because the product has prevented 
the nail fungus from invading the new healthy nail growth and the rest of that discoloration should grow off. Now one thing that I didn't talk about, sometimes discoloration, and there's probably some in this case, can also be caused from staining from cigarette smoke. And smoking is also a reason that causes circulation. Um, it can cause damage to the blood vessels and oxygen does not get down to your feet as good as it can. So, if you are a smoker, um, never quit quitting. It's always good for you to not be smoking. So, um, I'm a former smoker. I quit a long, long time ago. I'm not going to harp on anybody, so don't beat me up about suggesting quitting smoking. But for your health, it is the best. And my intentions are only the best for you. Also, if you remember, her big toenail had that big um, gap, that curled part on the inside of that toenail, and now that width at the back, it's now growing wide. So that width should stay the same, and as it grows out, that curve, curving in toward her second toe, should go away. Right there is where I was talking about how it was, there was a big missing spot and you can see at the back of the nail, it's all wide again. Nothing feels uncomfortable? No, not really. I mean, I don't... <laughs> Some of it might feel a little vulnerable because it's been, the nail's been pressing into it, and then yeah. once I remove the nail, it kind of makes it feel exposed. A little, I guess. And it's like, when I was a kid and I'd walk around and 
barefoot at times, I guess, and I get a piece of glass on my foot, and my mom would have to dig it out. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like, okay. you know, I'm anticipating it hurting, but it, right. it kind of just, yeah. So I, I can't say it hurts. It's just, just weird. Somebody Feels touched strange. your toe. Yeah. It's kind of like the chalkboard thing. It's just, it, yeah, my mom, when she would grab my boot, and I'd start screaming, and she's like, I haven't even touched it yet. <laughs> so I, I, but, you know, I, I just always hated that. So I didn't wear bare, but I wore shoes. Right. But like, I don't want that to happen again. For Miami. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I guess as a chef, it was just a lot of Cubans, and just, just kind of for his kids, I don't think he cared for the area, but now that his kids are grown, he, him and his wife do go there. Expensive there, I think. Uh, yeah. 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 He's a he's a chef. He, he does parties for the Packers and the Bears. Oh wow. He wouldn't let me get a picture of Aaron Rodgers. No. No, he wouldn't. He goes, that's why they come here because they don't worry about people getting pictures of them. So my son, my youngest, he went he fix his cell phones but he went up there to to be an event planner for him and um stayed about six months but yeah he got to meet aaron Rodgers and and the good you know the big time players fun yeah and then the big tippers you know i said what did they eat on the airplane because he made that he was taking it to delta airlines and that's when they were going to the bears were coming up um, to Green Bay Live. It was about maybe three weeks ago. I said, what do they eat? Well, they eat fried chicken and meatloaf, Kobe beef meatloaf. You know, that, that's the kind of food that they eat. Right. Just regular food. Pretty much. Just heighten <clears throat> a little. Um, I made fried chicken last night. Yeah? Yeah, it's one of the only things Bruce trusts me with. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I made potato soup, and that was really good, too. It was really good. I had made it for a few years, and yeah, it was really good. One of my son's friends came to pick him up while I was cooking dinner, and he was like, um, what's that smell? Mm -hmm. I said, fried chicken. He's like, that smells really good. <laughs> I said, well, if you come back later, I'll give you, I'll save you a piece. Did he come back? Not last night. They're, I think they're going to, he's going to come over tonight. Yeah. They got a job. At Wendy's. Yesterday was their first day. Oh wow! Wendy's is picking up. I do door dashing sometimes. I did it before Christmas. I haven't done it since, but after Christmas. But that was that's a big one. I, I deliver Wendy's a lot. Do you? More than I ever thought. You know, I thought Wendy's was kind of going downhill for a while, but they picked back up. And there's always a big line there. I'm always in line and. In Indiana, they're closed. I don't know if they are here or not. You can't go in, but you can, you know, carry out. Yeah, their dining room's closed, but you can carry, you can go through the drive through are, are most of the restaurants here closed? All of them are. Are they? Yeah. 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 They're not closed. Um, the the fast foods are. McDonald's, Taco Bell, but you can't, you go in and get food and leave.
I think we had a surge. We had a, a big one. Both my kids, they work in, I have three kids, but my older two, they work in nursing homes. But they did not have one case. This, I mean, they have, they, they did not have one case. That's fantastic. So they are, they've gotten it under control there. You wouldn't make it till the end. Yeah, and I, I made it to the end because I was, I just, he wasn't going to, I'd never live that down if I didn't. Oh, totally. So I had to stay. And, you know, I had to get stylish and wear pants with holes in them. And, and so my knees were showing, you know, I had these pants. And, Your legs were freezing. Yeah, I don't know why, what possessed me. And the lady next to me. So the pressure the from this toenail yeah, from pressing yeah. into the skin, well, it's going to look really, really red good. here in just a second. Her I skin is not bleeding, it's day. not it broken. Late October. The pressure just pushes so and hard game, that when so you remove the excess skin that's cold. sitting on top of it, it, it's not, um, it just looks red. My son said, I will go. Well, I'll watch it from the TV. <laughs> they pull their TVs in Green Bay, they pull their TVs outside and watch outside. They don't, they don't. The guys. And they want to feel like they're there. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> they sure do. And they're playing the city. Oh, they're playing the Rams. That's my husband's favorite team. <laughs> yeah. They're playing the Packers at Green Bay Sunday. And my husband's getting all geared up with that. He's all packed out in there. <laughs> He's got Packers on. Yeah. That's Packer hilarious. Mask, Packer, everything. You go up to Wisconsin and that's, you see that everywhere. Oh, yeah. You, you can't tell your husband because everybody's got hats on the same hats, you know. You couldn't find him in a crowd, right? No, not at all. And then they're all like, I mean, they're just diehard Packer fans. It's just... Days for days of our lives, you know. Does he? Yes, he's retired now, and he can't hardly miss it. He goes, "Oh, you said days of our lives," and I said, "Well, it, we have where you can record it, you know, and the, it, it's on there, so you don't have to worry about it." But yeah, he and they got a pandemic thing on there, some kind of you know, they have a storyline like that. So That's I, funny. Yeah, I don't. I used to watch Young the Restless years ago. I don't know. does he watches it and hates to miss it look how good that big toe looks already so this is just like a six month window this is her third visit 
I watched the good doctor and it, it just started back up last night. We have like a YouTube uh, subscription. Uh -huh. So we can watch all the YouTube and, and we get everything. Every, every live stuff, you know, and, and all the videos, all the channels, all you know, like your channels. And Comcast yeah, they call it YouTube Red or something. I think so. My daughter, yeah, my daughter, she, she did it, so I'm uh, yeah, not sure, but our cable bills went out a lot. We were paying like 2 30 for internet cable, and, and now we're under $100. Yeah. It's expensive. Yes. So I, I've, I've gotten a box, and it's a preloaded box, Xfinity, which is our conference, like time one on this year, but. Um, I feel bad for the movies. Yeah. You know, they can't release their movies they've been working on. Right, yeah. Because no theaters are open to have people come and that big box office money. There's a lot of people really hurting in this. And I don't think the, the effect's going to be felt for years. Well, I think kids that aren't going to school, I think it's horrible. I don't know. My grandson, well, they went for a little while, but they're back out again. They, they, they have a lot of money. You know, they, yeah, that's just, I, I feel bad. Kids need school. Yeah, I was so happy when my son came home and told me he got a job. I was like, thank God. How old is your son? He's going to be 17 in a couple weeks. Oh, okay, yeah. He's like, aren't you proud of me, Mom? I'm being responsible all on my own. I'm like, yes, you need to get out of this house. Yeah. Go be a productive member of society. Yeah, yeah, your kids, are, it's part of it. Let them stray from the nest and fly, fly yes. soar. I mean, they need to feel useful as well. Is that your oldest? No, he's my youngest. Okay. Yeah, my oldest is 38. My, my youngest is 28. Never stop being your babies, though, right? No, no, no. Call every day. My baby does. My youngest, he calls every every day. That's sweet. Yeah. Good boy, but he is covered in tattoos. Is he? Yes. Arms, legs, neck, hands. It makes, I mean, it makes really good money. He works, you know, he works really hard, but I mean, tattoos, in my opinion. My other son, he doesn't have one.
Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.